guys, yeah, welcome back again to my channel. If you just see me for the first time, my name is Grace and I'm a content creator that is based here in Owe, Imo State, Nigeria. If you're my returning subscriber, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much for returning back. I appreciate your support, okay? It's not easy for you to have always come back here all the time just to watch my video. I appreciate you, okay? And guys, today, I just want to share my experience of what happened when we went to the streets of Owe to a kind of share food and all of that okay <sighs> the truth is there is hunger in this country and there is hunger in this state i never really understood how much hungry people of course i know i'm I know I'm just in this my little space and I know I may not really have much but going out to the street opened my eyes to several things that of course I wouldn't have known if I'm here of course I see people who beg and those and all of that but that's really opened my eyes okay and that's just what I want to share in this particular video hi guys welcome to gracious tales just sit back and enjoy Okay, guys, it started with us a kind of gathering. Of course, it was an outreach that was sponsored by someone. God bless him wherever he is. It was actually an outreach. And when I got to know about it, I said, Ah, because I'm in the group, I said, If I cannot sponsor such outreach, guys, if I cannot be able to a kind of bring out money, enough money to do all of that then what prevents me from you know helping out so i had to go out okay i remember that particular day we even had church activity we had our workers um a minister's conference that's for emo province one rccg but i quickly had to do it because i felt it was necessary and then you know this was i think up to four days or three days after we went for the outreach for the girl child's day if you've not watched that video please make sure that you watch Watch it okay started with us going there in the night i was among the persons that went there in the night to pre prepare stew fry the meat wash the meat and all of that and then the next morning guys i still had to take myself out there because of course i know how important it is i know that there is nothing that we do in this life that goes unrewarded and this just another um well i said this is just another opportunity for me to reach out to people out there so i kind of utilize it very well i'm this kind of person i'm very very passionate about the girl child i'm very very passionate about women generally and then reaching out to those who are less privileged to those who are needy and all of that like it pains me each time i see people on the street okay <sighs> god then if i see someone that is sick and ah uh, Oh my god i don't know how to explain it okay so after the cookie it was the jollof rice and thank god i love it when people who want to reach out to others don't a kind of have this mentality of they can just manage anything oh my god that one it hurts me so much i mean like if you can reach out to someone you feel like it's less privileged or someone who doesn't have i feel like it should be something that is tangible you should even you should not look at the person's level you should make sure that what you are giving to the person should surpass what the person is used to because that's why you're reaching out right and then because what i'm saying this is i've seen several persons who say ah it, let them just manage it i mean can they afford it in their homes and all of that so but this particular outreach i thank god for the kind of people who were there to handle it they didn't believe such they believed in cooking decent meals there was you know normal needs and all of that and i really do appreciate them and i know god was so blessed them okay and then after the cooking you know how jollof rice is yeah it was just normal cooking me now i've always been in the kitchen i always like to help out we prepare the meals you know we have to pack it up as people were preparing as people were preparing the food on the fire they were we had several caterers there by the grace of god as people were preparing the jollof rice on the fire other people were kind of dishing it out packing it and you know those kind of things and guys i must say it was it was worth it okay then after the whole thing it was not time to go to the streets and that was where <laughs> that was where the whole thing like came up when we went to the street when we went to first of all we said we are going to start from um st paul's if you know where we're very well you know that st paul's is just around the douglas before amajeke if you're going 
through Wedra Junction and all of that. It's just in between AmaJK and just the normal Mbise Road, okay? So when we went there, we found out that um, before you go there, that's for people who want to go, okay? This is for someone who may be in no worry, who would desire to go reach out to people that are there. Just make sure that you know that when you get there first, they have a chairman of, you see all those people that are on that street, all those beggars and everything. Some of them are sick, some of them don't have homes, some of them just have one problem or the other, okay? Even you, even see the God, so many of them, they were pregnant, even in that kind of situation, yeah. <sighs> we went there, or if you are to go there, you'll be required to meet their chairman. They have a chairman, they have the assistant, the assistant chairman, I be then they have a secretary or something like that. We couldn't meet the chairman per se, but we met the secretary. Okay, when we met the secretary, the secretary told us that we had to, he just had to kind of arrange us on how we will go about it. And funny enough, guys, I, I God, 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 I met both those who had their legs amputated, those who were pregnant, uh, and all of that, okay? And, and because, by the grace of God, the food was much. Like, we didn't know it was much until you, we start, as in, we packed the whole thing and we went to the street. We were supposed to a kind of feed over 400, um, over 400 people on the street okay so i think the food we went out with was exactly 450 because we used four takeaway packs and half that's 100 100 and then the half is 50 so it was 450 plates of decent meal that we went out with after sharing to those people that we are there that's the saint paul's people we found out that we still had enough like the food was so much guys it was so much it was so much we had to from there got a wheelbarrow about two wheelbarrows they packed the whole thing we had to from there move from streets to streets, from places to places, from there we moved straight to Amawasa. And you know, as we are moving, we also see people who were begging on the road, or people who just who did not just or who were hungry. Let me just put it like that. And we shared the whole of food, went down to Wedra Junction, came back, went through MBC Road, down to fire service, guys. And I must tell you you will actually think that everybody is okay like no one is hungry you will just see somebody that is dressed decently and you don't know that the person is hungry <sighs> bro when you go out there you'll be able to understand that yes somebody might actually be so nice or looking so nice so well well kitted and everything but the person is hungry so we met even people that we went to i think that should, that should be along with me say road if you are going as if you're going to fire service we met this <laughs> this uh, what's it called again no bet niger guys it was raining the last set of food as we were coming back it was raining heavily so we went there if you see men like if you see men more than 40 men they were inside there they were literally begging us to force to give Give them food and we just had to share to every one of them they were so much grateful they were even like ah, when are people coming back and all all of that guys and we met men self that ordinarily we thought okay this was for the less privileged this was for people maybe who are disabled who are old who are begging but guys we met eligible men on the streets we thought we are not even hungry okay and then we just some of them we just had to go and give them and they willingly accepted <sighs> guys when i came back it was already late but trust me for two days i didn't get myself like it opened my eyes to several things from douglas down to where i'm staying guys <sighs> throughout that journey i was like saying thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus because you don't know what god has done for you if you're watching me and you're not on the street, if you're watching me and you can afford your meal, like, I know I may not be able to eat everything I want to eat at this moment, yeah, but at least it has not gotten to the extent that I'll be on the street. It has not gotten to the extent that I can get maybe i can just accept food that, is, that has been shared on the street okay and then i'm also thankful no matter what's happening no matter the situation 
my family, I believe none of my family is on the streets, even if they don't eat three square meals and all of that. But our case is not as critical as those people, so it opened my eyes to several things. And and I was just wondering, what if we had gone for prison visitation, guys? Ah, I don't know what will have happened though. <laughs> Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. But people are actually suffering in this country, okay? So this is just me sharing my experience and that's just it okay if you watch up to this moment you've not liked the video you've not subscribed what are you waiting for please like the video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you any other time i upload a new video and please before i forget if you have the chance to help anyone please do help the person don't assume because the person is looking fine the person is doing this right person please if you have any opportunity to reach especially those who are on the street please don't hesitate to do that even if it's just you can actually cook even if it's 20 cups of rice, you can prepare it and go out, share, even if by your streets, you will always get people who need it. And God will bless you. Okay, bye.